That's up YouTube on my backup camera. Now, the other one's uploading a video. <clears throat> I'm only teaching on this because I came across this. First Timothy 4 1. You need to see this. Now, look at these scriptures with sobering vision. Now, I'm not going to quote Revelation 17 5, but in big letters it says, Mystery. Mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Okay. Mystery, cut to the chase, it's the Trinity, Babylon. Mother is the Catholicism that brought the, <clears throat> the nation's trinities into, injected it actually, Christianity. They were trying, they murdered for hundreds, of, it's all recorded. Go to your study. Now look at 1 Timothy 4.1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their consciences seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry. Okay, One of the signs is of this is that's what I just mentioned, Catholicism. Forbidding to marry, and any, all all the other religions that are irrelevant. They're they're all lost people. Okay, I'm just talking about this because God pointed this out. Commanding to abstain from meats. Who does that on Fridays? Fish Fridays. Hey, I love the fish Fridays. I love the fish Fridays. <laughs> but <laughs> don't be part of this religion. He calls them the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Harlots meaning they gave birth to who came out of mama. Catholicism will tell you the Protestants are part of mama. They all hold the same baptism. That's what connects them. And some of them hold the offshoots of these strange doctrines. Okay, Paul's warning you from the spirit of the living God, Jesus Christ. Forbidding to marry, verse 3, and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Okay? You can eat you can eat your cheeseburgers on Friday. It doesn't matter what the, the Pope says. It's okay. It's not a <laughs> strange doctrine. Okay? He calls them doctrines of devils, seducing spirits, lying spirits. Departing from the faith, making their baloney up and saying it's from God, and it's not. Okay? You gotta be careful. Okay, and then he just goes into about meats. But that's the main thing. Okay? God just had me write a book about some of this stuff. That mystery. Be careful you're not found in that mystery doctrine of the nations. It's still prevalent. If you look, there's old bless everywhere. Somehow, some way, I don't know, and I don't really care, but they're connected with all this junk. Strange doctrines, God says, beware, because he's going to judge the nations. There's going to be great revival, but there's also going to be great judgment. Okay. Be one of the few people that Jesus talked about in Matthew 7 that find this way. Be one of the few. Don't follow the mass religions and mass of them are jacked. They are jacked. It says it right here. Lies, speaking lies, hypocrisy. Conscience is seared with a hot iron. I mean, God forbid. Okay? Stick with the Bible. Stick with prayer. Be in communion with your Father, Jesus Christ. He is the Holy Ghost. He's the Spirit of God. Don't let them tell you there's three dudes up there. Oh, there's three dudes. There, look at this third century painting of three dudes. I just saw yesterday on the TV the uh, Buddhist uh, what was it? Taoists. They said there's a three-headed dude. It was on the Pawn Star show and uh, where they pawn things. P-A-W-N, pawn shop. And this guy brought it in. Oh, this survived. He said most of them were melted down from the I think Mao went after the the false doctrines of Buddhists, Mao Zedong, China's old leader, and he 
he took him out. All that false junk of the Buddhists. He's like, no, I don't know the whole story. He said, this thing survived. And uh, so they were, they were trying to see how much it cost. But it was a three-headed dude. So uh, there was something else about that. I, I forgot. It. But uh, I thought I was, when I seen it yesterday, I thought, man, that's the Trinity. That's the, uh, that's the religion of all the nations, all the pagan nations. From pre-Babel through one of the lineages of the dingbats of Noah, that one of his sons dingbats cursed, and he cursed him. Okay, so you you really got to be careful because this is mystery, and it's in Christianity because of Rome, the Roman Catholic Church, and all of Revelation seventeen is the judgments. Go down the list, down the list, down the list. Revelation 18, it goes. And then it looks like it merges into the government structure from the Roman judgment to the government structures. I had a pa old pastor actually taught Revelation 18, uh, 4 was the Twin Towers coming down. They shall cast dust upon their own heads. And he tied it in. It was about an hour long or two. Study, but uh, interesting. I can't say yay and I can't say nay because it's one of those things in the Bible where it's like, yeah, I can see it. But also, but just to take away from this, Revelation 17 5, uh, actually, Revelation 18 4 is the come out of her, my people. That's actually the warning. But somewhere in Revelation 18, I believe it is, uh, and they shall cast dust upon their own heads, is somewhere in there. But Revelation 18 4, my mind's going different places, but uh, it's the God's invitation to the mama whore. The people that are bound in that system come out like, because God has people in there. They're not judged yet. They're going to be judged. That's Revelation 18. Five. They're going to be judged in one day. And some of my second book goes into that of what God showed me at church through the Bible from the Spirit. And through the preacher. Because he preaches it all the time. But. Uh, so. Just some uh, nuggets of truth for you. Come out. The best way to come out of that spiritually. Follow the Bible apostles. First biblical, biblical pattern of the Great Commission. Where is that Ron? Go to Acts 2.38. It's the first biblical pattern. I'll, I'll put the link of that. Or that scripture for you. God bless you. Get biblically born again. God bless you.